Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the uh, uh, ramble. Goes until uh, midnight tonight. Okay, midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Or if you're listening to it on our pre-recorded programming on our 24/7 uh, feed, uh, you can be listening to it anytime. Uh, these things are random. They go in an order. Okay, that's all I can say. Anyway, how are you? What's happening? Uh, if I go over to, uh, let me see here, over to the uh, other uh, camera, uh, you will not see uh, anybody there tonight. Uh, once again, she punked out on me, so uh, I'll just uh, I'll just do this myself. I'll have to talk for the next uh, twenty five minutes, uh, and then the rest of you can join in. I may go to the phones early. I don't know. Let me see. Let me get off that empty chair. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, you know, I mean, or I can do the split screen and just sit here and talk to nobody. So uh, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, good. It's just uh, it's the ghost of Christmas past. There is our guest tonight. Anyway, where are we? Okay. That's enough of that crap. Uh, let me see here. So anyway, uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, uh, so I got to talk for the next 25 minutes. I have nothing to say, nothing to talk about. But first of all, let me tell you, I, I have to, number one, I have to thank uh, uh, Damien for two things, okay? First of all, uh, he hit me today that Spotify, which is I think maybe the largest p place for the repository of music and podcasts, is finally t taking podcast submissions from humble people like myself without having to go through a whole bunch of rigmarole. And uh, so I, uh, he told me about that, and I put uh, three of our programs up. I put my program up, I put the intersection up, and I put uh, uh, my uh, uh, life in the passing lane up on Spotify. It won't be up for a couple of days because it takes them a couple of days to, to initiate it and all of that. You ask about the exchange. Well, Damien said he's going to put that up himself. So uh, uh, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Uh, I just offered to help. I may also put up uh, the, um, uh, the what do you call it, the uh, um, deal with the, you know, the, uh, 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 the arena, our sports program. And I'm probably also going to put up Michael Snyder's uh, reviews. Now, a girlfriend isn't here tonight. And so I thought maybe what I would do is I would play uh, Michael Snyder's movie review for this week. But then I said, I, I really don't want my audience to suffer that badly because she wouldn't come in. So I'm not going to do that. But if you want to watch Michael Snyder, listen to this Michael Snyder's uh, movie reviews, uh, you simply go over to gabnet.net and on the on demand, at least until Mon Tuesday, it will be at the very top of the page. Okay, very top of the page. Uh, and uh, you can listen to the movie reviews and you can find out what's good to see and what isn't good to see. But um, uh, he's not always right. <laughs> he's not always right. But, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll deal with that when we, you know, I've, I've said that before. Uh, he, in fact, many times he has recommended a movie so we've gone to the expense of going to a movie. Now, when I say the expense, I'm sure you know this. I know this. If you go to movies, you're assured of it. Um, if you go to a movie, uh, it, it costs us, because we get the senior fare, but we go to the comfy chair theater with the, with the plush chairs, you know, the, those deals. They, they got them all over the place now. This one was... The first one I think that I ever ran into, 
Uh, but uh, now they not only have comfy chair theaters, they have comfy chair theaters where they bring food to your chair. Just what I want. People eating hot dogs and having dinner while watching a movie, and I want to watch the movie, and they're munching on food, and I'm smelling their food. I, anyway, bad idea. Bad idea. So anyway, uh, we spend, uh, first of all, I spend $12.50 to get to the theater by cab and another 12 and a half to go back. So that's 25 bucks. Then the picture movie itself for the two of us at the comfy chair, if it's in 3D, is $42. How much are we up to now, right? We're up to about $67, right? And then, of course, there's the snacks and so on, which come to about another 15 So before you're through, you've spent almost $80 going to a movie. And if it's one he recommended and it sucks, you know, once you're in there and you, you go to see the movie and you've read the reviews have been good on it and everything like that, but, you, you know, you have your individual taste and you go to see the movie and you just spent $80 to go to this goddamn thing, it better blow you. It better be good, really good. And uh, chances are it's not very good, okay? So uh, uh, I listened to his reviews, and I go, well, he said, he said he liked the movie. I'll go see it. And then I go see it, and I go, what the hell were you? What Did, did we see the same movie? That thing sucked. So, you know, then I'm out 80 bucks, and, of course, he is a movie reviewer. So how much does he pay to go see the movie? Well, try zero. Because he gets into screenings, uh, and he gets in for free. And m all movie reviewers get in for free. They don't pay to see the film. And my feeling is on the whole damn thing is that uh, you should have the same experience we do. If you're going to review the movie, you should have to pay for it. And you should have to take, like, whatever transportation. In, in L.A., you'll drive your car there. But, you know, I mean, come on. You should have to pay to get in to see the movie because I think that if reviewers had to pay to get in, they would have a different perception of the film because all of a sudden they would say, was this worth the 20 bucks I just put out? And if the answer is no, you know, but on the other hand, if you if you're if you're uh, uh, getting in for free, you sit there. You, oh, and here's what I thought of the movie. It was a you know. But they don't ever put a dollar value on the investment that the public is going to make when they go to the theater. And how many times have you read a review in the paper and it said, oh, the film's good. You know, one of these blockbusters like Black Panther. Oh, it's a great movie. It's a terrific movie. And then you go to it and you go, eh, it's okay. You know couple of these, uh, uh, I won't go to any more of the Marvel Avengers films. I'll wait for them to come out on, uh, on, on uh, video. Uh, because uh, every one I went to, I walked out and I went, what the fuck was that all about? Now, I have to admit, occasionally I have enjoyed one of those things when everybody has said it's good. Guardians of the Galaxy, even the sequel to it was fine. Uh, Ant-Man versus Wa uh, Ant-Man and Wasp. Uh, I, it was surprised me. Terrific film. Really good film. Um, and, of course, uh, Deadpool. You know, you can't, you, it was just, you, I walked out of the theater going, boy, that was a surprise. That was really good. That was really terrific. Uh, so, you know, I mean, um, uh, there are exceptions to the rule. But then, I, as I say, I've seen some of those. I won't go to the Avengers films anymore because anytime it says Avengers, I know it's going to suck. Now, you're telling me, well, it's just because you don't know all the characters and whatever. I went to all those movies. I know all the characters. I don't give a shit about them. They, they put in subpar, B-level uh, uh, superheroes as part of the Avengers. I mean, some of them I don't even know the names of anymore. And Aquaman, well, that's another story altogether. There's an Aquaman movie coming out. I mean, I think in December... Uh, it would be fun if they did the premiere underwater. That would be really nice. But anyway, and, and all I know is that for years, when you joked about making movies about comic book heroes, 
The one you always made a joke about was Aquaman. Do you remember in, uh, what was that show, uh, Entourage? Remember, it's about a kid who's uh, becoming a movie star and his little entourage that follows him wherever he goes. Uh, in Entourage, they, uh, the big thing was he was going to do a movie of Aquaman. And that was always kind of a joke in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, the Aquaman movie. Yeah, the whole thing's going to be underwater, right? Uh, I always thought that uh, Aquaman was boring. There was another one. It wasn't there. There was Aquaman and then Marvel had one. But DC had Aquaman, did, he, did they? And the other one was, um, I don't know, Water Person. I can't remember what, who the other one was. Maybe you can remind me when I go to the phones, go to the Skype. Um, and uh, I always thought Aquaman was the worst idea of all. And yet, here comes DC. They're making an Aquaman movie. Oh, boy. Uh, so anyway, that's its command. Now, uh, no, on the other hand, DC has only had, you know, DC makes shitty movies, okay? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Suicide Squad was supposed to be a great film because supposedly it's a great comic. And uh, it sucked. I mean, I've never, I've tried to get through it, watch it, and I can't get through it. I can't get pe past the first half hour, and then I'm dozing off, okay? Um, and the Superman movies of recent times have been terrible. Uh, and uh, the Batmans that Christopher Nolan did were terrific, but then all of a sudden, the latest Batman stuff with Justice League and uh, Batman with... Uh, um, uh, versus Superman stuff. So those films just absolutely sucked. I sat there and watched them, and it was like, I don't know, I don't know what, what's happening. It's just one action sequence after another, and you're never really seeing what the action is because it's cut so fast. And uh, DC does terrible movies. They do great TV shows, but it's a different, whole different group of people that are doing the TV than are running the movies. And they just, by the way changed the uh, people who are producing their movies. They, they got a whole new crew in because they realized that the movies have really been pretty bad, except for one. What one was that? Wonder Woman was terrific. Wonder Woman was wonderful. And it was because I think they kept, the, DC kept their hands off of it, and let a woman direct it and write it. And she brought to it a sensibility that none of their other films had had. But then they take Wonder Woman and they put her in with the Justice League. And, you know, it's like, do you know in the comic books in the early days, you know what Wonder Woman did for the Justice League? You know, like she, they have the president of the Justice League. Sometimes it was Superman. Sometimes it was Batman, from what I understand. Uh, at least if, I, if Shecky has told me the, what's correct, because he's the big DC guy. Um, and uh, do you know what her job was? Uh, you're going to love this. She was the secretary. <laughs> she, she, took, she took the minutes of the meetings. Yeah, that's what they lowered Wonder Woman to. Well, they did the, the Justice League film, and I felt she was in there, but you know, it just didn't have the same impact that the standalone movie did. And I hope if they do another Wonder Woman movie, which obviously they're going to do, uh, I hope it's as good as the last one because the last one was inspired. But that's the only really good DC movie outside of the three. And I say two of the three were really good. Christopher Nolan, Batman's. So, you know. And Marvel has been successful in creating... You know how you have a television series and every week you tune in to see what's going to happen next? Well, they, they took the idea of that, the episodic nature of television... And they applied it to movies so that it's all episodic. I mean, it's like uh, all the th various components like, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, the very, uh, like uh, um, all the various characters that they've, they've had single movies of, they then put into the Avengers. So they, and, and there's an ongoing history and storyline. And you have to know what went on before. Now, it's bad enough, you know, when you, when you are watching a TV series uh, or binge-watching a, a series on Netflix, and then a year goes by before they come out with the next series, 
you have to say to yourself, well, wait a minute, I forgot what went on before, you know. That's why they always have usually a recap. Netflix is pretty good about it. They actually have a, a, you can bypass it if you want to, but if you go to something like Ozark and it's in its second season, you bypass that. You can bypass that. And um, uh, that's pretty good. You know, you can just zip right by it. But you, or you can watch it, and it's very involved. It gives you about a 10-minute backstory of what happened, and uh, it can't get you up to speed. But if you didn't see the last Avengers movie, and now you're going into the next Avengers movie, which is maybe two years later, you have to remember everything that went on in the first Avengers movie. And I don't know if I want to go back and watch the last Avengers movie because I was bored to tears with that one. So, you know, it's like, and people say, well, you don't know what happened there. Well, that's because in the first movie, blah, 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 happened. I don't give a shit. I want two hours that stands alone and that I can look at and sit, walk out and say, I just saw a good movie. But, you know, it's not really worth going to movies anymore. Um, there's a, move, there a couple of movies out I would like to see. There's this new Robert Redford film about a, a criminal. I can't remember the name of it right now about a criminal who, uh, it's in fact Redford's last film, he says it's his last film. Uh, it's based on a true story, a guy was in San Quentin, escaped from San Quentin at 70. And what did he do? Did he go up to the mountains and hide and live the rest of his life in quiet uh, solitude? No, he went out and started robbing more banks. So uh, that movie's supposed to be very good. Uh, and I would like to see it. Another movie I would like to see is Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born, which, according to Michael Snyder, in just about every review I've read, is terrific. Lady Gaga is being given rave reviews. They say she's just a great actress, which is something I knew all along. I mean, I from the very beginning of Gaga's career, I said, watch out for her. She's going to surprise you because she's going to start doing things that are way off of what you consider as her comfort zone. You know, my wife always used to say to me, why does she have to wait wear meat dresses? And I go, well, she had to wear meat dresses because that's how you get people to pay attention to you in the beginning of your career. Uh, but then she went out and she started doing albums with Tony Bennett, and uh, she started appearing on American Horror Story to kind of get her acting chops together. And now she's made this movie and she's terrific in it. And everybody's going, boy, I didn't know she'd be that good. I knew she'd be that good because Lady Gaga is the real deal. By the way, I saw tonight on uh, one of these entertainment shows. Do you know that Lady Gaga, under her real name, I can't remember what it is right now, uh, was on an episode of The Sopranos? Yeah, she was one of the kids in the high school. Yeah, yep. So anyway, that, that, I thought I'd just pass that along. It's a little piece of information. Um, but anyway, so uh, where was I? Oh, so, you know, I mean, if, if I'm going to spend that kind of money to go to a movie, I want to see something good. But if I'm going to, why should I go see A Star is Born? Why should I go see the Redford movie when I know in three months they're going to be on Netflix or they're going to be on HBO? Uh, films you never thought were going to be on uh, Netflix or HBO or already there, like Black Panther's up on there. And how long ago was that out? That was maybe four or five months ago, tops. Okay, so why should I spend that same, well, maybe a little less, maybe, maybe $70, because it isn't 3D and it isn't comfy chair. Why should I go to a theater and see something that I'm going to be able to see at home on a service I'm already paying for, uh, uh, essentially for free, although it's not free because I'm paying for the services, but certainly not what I would pay to go see the movie. I mean, for all my services combined, I'm not spending more than about $25. So anyway, you know, I, I uh, um, that, that's my gripe about these things so I mean so I'm not going to go see A Star is Born I can wait you know the one thing I used to say to people is they go oh, I gotta see this movie it just came out I gotta go see it and I go well why don't you wait for Netflix it'll be on in three months I go but I, I want to see it now and I go why do you want to see it now and they never come up with a good answer for me it's like I think it's like I don't want to have to tell my friends I didn't see it all right 
Uh, and uh, But I have to remind them, I said, you know, it's on film, okay, or, you know, or on some kind of di maybe a digital representation of film, okay? It will last forever, okay? It's going to come out on Netflix. It's going to come out on, it's going to be available on, for sale on video. It's going to be on television. It's going to be, it's around for all of eternity, you know? Uh, and um, why do you have to see it right now? It's going to be the same film, especially today. I mean, with digital and all that, we don't have troubles with the uh, color fading or prints that are getting chopped up because they've been bicycled around the theaters because there's no such thing as prints anymore. They're all hard drives that go in there and nothing wears out, you know. If the hard drive goes bad, they simply ask the company to immediately send them another one. Uh, and um, uh, so consequently, that, that film is going to be pristine and in its same form for history. Once it's made, once it's been edited, it's not going to change, you know. So why do you have to see it this weekend? Because it's coming out this weekend. You want to be able to tell everybody, I saw A Star is Born. Is that your bragging rights? Now, uh, you know, I mean, I will admit that there are certain films that I do go to movie theaters for. I love 3D. I, When I was a kid, I was just... I went and saw every 3D film that was made. I can name movies you wouldn't believe existed. Sangaree with Fernando Lamas. Uh, boring, horrible film, but it was in 3D, and I got to sit there with the glasses and go, it's in 3D. Um, I saw almost every 3D film that came out. For Ty. Have you ever heard of that one? No, of course you haven't. Charge at Feather River. How about that one? All right. Uh, you know, you remember some of them like House of Wax and Kiss Me Kate and things like that. Dial M for Murder was in 3D, shot in 3D, never released in 3D until later on when they decided to release it in 3D. But it wasn't released in 3D because, uh, as Alfred Hitchcock put it, uh, I filmed it on a Tuesday and 3D was over on a Wednesday. Uh, and uh, so consequently, they never released it in 3D until years later when people said, oh, you know, we can release uh, Dial M for Murder in 3D. And now you can buy it for home consumption on, on uh, Blu-ray uh, 3D. If you have a 3D TV set, I have two of them, uh, you know, and, and watch it in 3D. Uh, but uh, all I'm saying is you don't have to see the film the weekend it comes out. You know, it's not going to get stale because, you know, maybe it's that you don't want people to tell you about it. You want to tell people about it. OK, uh, but there's no reason for me to go see A Star is Born this weekend. Why? I'm going to be able to see it in a couple of months. Um, the Robert Redford film, I'll, I'd be surprised if it, it was, was, wasn't more than two months before it shows up on Netflix or Amazon Prime or something like that. So... You know, I just am not um, uh, uh, that in a, that a great rush. But for three D movies and blockbusters that are big films, I like to watch them on a big screen. I like to watch them with an audience because, at the very least, movies are a group experience. You're all sitting in a dark theater together, and you're looking at this thing, and you're uh, uh, you know really absorbing it. And experiencing it together, you're all going, wow, ooh, ow, oh, you know. So uh, a big blockbuster like that, I'll go to a theater to see. But it better be damn good. It better not be Suicide Squad, and it better not be any of these nitwit Avengers movies. Um, it better be something like, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. Better be something like... Uh, um, where, what's the other one? The Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, 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 Deadpool. Uh, love Deadpool. Just love Deadpool. So anyway. Eh. Hey, I've, I've actually, you know, you start me talking. This is what I did for a living for years, and somehow 25 minutes comes and goes, and I've been blabbing in all that time. Let me open up the lines and see if we get any callers tonight. I'm not that sure that kind of thing's going to happen here. So 
Let me let me see. Okay, we're open now. The lines are open. I feel like the queen. I can declare this bridge open. Um, but, um, you know, I'm leaving the lines now for you to call in on. I just opened them up. And now I have to wait like about a minute because a lot of times people don't get the signal till a minute later. Well, here comes Phil Meyer. Here he is. He's, he's the first... He's, He's usually always the first one here, although uh, sometimes it's uh, Scott Boddicker, you know. Hello there, Phil. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, you know, you used to get free movie passes yeah. uh, for, for a ton of movies. Yeah. If you didn't take your ex-wife Susan, you took me, you took me and Susan, you took my ex-wife. Uh, you know, when you, you had these passes, you would go to see movies. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how come you're not on the list for that stuff anymore? Well, I am, actually, for some of it. Uh, but And they send me invites to various films and so on. And also through SAG-AFTRA, we yeah. have a lot of showings through SAG-AFTRA. There's also a thing I can join at SAG-AFTRA that will allow me to go a lot to a lot of movies every year that they have screenings and so on. Uh, but, um, I, you know, it... it it's too much of a, of, a, of a slog for me to get downtown, you know, to Midtown to see the movie. And, you know, yeah. I, just, I, just, it, it, I just don't take them up on it. But I do get the invites. Ah, yeah. You know, and the, the one interesting thing, uh, you got me into watching the credits to see who was there. It was very important to you to see the credits. Well, the reason I watch the credits, and this is a, this is a, a, a theory I always had is, I can't applaud the movie because the people who made the movie aren't there for my applause. So right. what I can do if I really enjoy the film, if I didn't like the film, I'd walk out on the credits. Really? But if I liked the film, I would sit there through the entire credit roll, even though I wasn't reading it you know, minutely, so that those names would pass by me because these are people who worked very hard to make a film I liked very much. Yeah, your ex-wife used to say she liked the uh, best boy grip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, uh, in fact, I was going to make a short subject once called the best boy, the grip's friend. <laughs> you know, and it was going to be all about what a best boy does. Yeah, uh, isn't he late tape? I you know. think I think the best boy is the assistant to the grip. Yeah. The grip is the guy I who, like, lays, the lays wires and takes yeah. them down and things like that. And uh, the best boy is, I think, his assistant. I'm not yeah. not entirely sure, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it was my... Well, and, uh, you know, I'd come up with uh, a... I don't like these cartoon characters, and I never go to see those shows, although I did like that Jessica Jones uh, series oh, well, uh, yeah. very well, much. The, well, the stuff, uh, they, the stuff they did on Netflix was all kind of adult stuff. Yeah. You know, it was not... It was not kid stuff. It, and, uh, you know, I like, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Luke Cage. I thought Yeah, yeah I like that, too. Terrific. I liked Jessica Jones with Luke Cage better than I liked Luke Cage by himself. Really? I like the Luke Cage by himself. Part of the reason I like the Luke Cage by himself is it took place in Harlem. Yeah. And I know every one of those locations because they're all near me. Yeah. I mean, the latest one, our building, is in it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your building seems to get in a lot of movies and TV shows. Yes. Uh, it's a pretty neat building. I watched that Mozart in the in the park. That, the Mozart uh, the in the Houston. jungle. In the jungle. Yeah, the Mozart jungle. in the jungle. It was the uh, it was the house that uh, the girl lived in. You know, and all the musicians yeah, lived. That's in. right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were also in New Jack City, of course. That's the one we're most notorious for because it, it, it wasn't called. Uh, 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 it's called uh, uh, Graham uh, Court, right? Right. Uh, but in the movie, it was called the Carter. They put up a different sign on it saying, <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. the Carter. And so now when I take a cab and they leave me off in the front of the building, they look at me and they go, oh, the Carter. <laughs> because it's so notorious. Because if you, if you watch um, uh, New Jack City, 
there's a guy who gets killed right in front of the building is one of the big things. And then it's the building they turn into a giant crack house. And they point to a, a, you know, a map of the building and they say, this is where we're going to build the uh, crack lab. And it's our kitchen. Is that yeah. the scene that everybody, the women are all sitting there in, in the nude and they're uh, dividing yeah. up yeah. Uh, cocaine yeah. or yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. The reason, yeah, they, I, yeah, the reason they're supposedly naked is, is uh, not for sex purposes, but because it's to prevent them from stealing the yeah. coke. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, and these are women who are packaging the coke and, you know, whatever. They leave any in your kitchen? No, no, but you know, but he points. To, he points to the window. Actually, it's our uh, our pantry. The window he yeah. points to, but he says uh, Wesley Snipes says this is where we're going to build the crack lab. So that that's very famous. P Pan Am, a TV show. Uh, we were I hit, saw that. Yeah, we, we were they here. dropped them off in front. Yeah, we were uh, a Russian. Uh, what a building uh, in Russia. Uh, that um, uh, what, what's uh, what was the. Uh, uh, I, there was some reason why, uh, or, yeah, a spy or something lived here. Uh, and so we did that. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we, every now and then we get a little notification. Oh, so, so and so is going to be here. The Americans shot here. Uh, yeah. you know, we, but we get a notification. Oh, so and so is going to be t filming here on Tuesday. And, uh, you know, we, you know, I watched all the seasons of the Americans. Uh, I don't remember the the building. All they I, I shot they, they didn't sh they didn't show the building supposedly. They shot in our basement. Oh, I think it was some guy they were holding hostage or something like that. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. beat the crap out of him. Yeah, so that was our in our basement. Shot him. Yeah, yeah, that was in our basement. So, hello, Jeff. How are you doing, guys? This is gonna be another two person show tonight. It could be. Yeah. Uh, Tonight there is a baseball game. Yeah. Big one. Yeah, I think it's uh, Boston versus uh, the Yankees. Oh, are they going to go nine innings? Oh, then we're not going to get we're not going to get uh, Rob uh, at all. Yeah. Because Rob's a big big uh, Yankees fan. Yankee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. What were you going to yeah, say? I, Oh, uh, I um, was out on the bay all day today, mm -hmm. and uh, the Blue Angels uh, were flying. Uh, they scrapped one of the planes, uh, They uh, so the show started late, and then it was a very short show, and they didn't do a lot of the maneuvers that they normally do, but uh, I was out in the sun all day. <laughs> I hate those guys. <laughs> yeah, I hate yeah those you said guys. they wake, them, you wake, no, they wake no, you up. No, no, here's what happens. What happens? Every year. Here would come the Blue Angels, right? Mm -hmm. And they would, to begin with, it wasn't they had a show on Sunday or a show on Friday. They had a show, they had to do a rehearsal. All week. All week. So now, I don't know what you're supposed to do when they're rehearsing. Are you supposed to avert your eyes and not look? Because you certainly can't avoid the sound, you yeah. know. And what these assholes would do for their rehearsals is they would fly over our neighborhood right above the roofs. You know, and I'm thinking, all they got to do is some guy's got to sneeze and we just wiped out five homes. There know? was a time that they were allowed to break the sound barrier and go under the Gold Gate Bridge and <laughs> fly through downtown between the buildings. They stopped that. Oh, well, they, yeah. they didn't. They were doing it while I was there. So I would like... I would always, what would happen is I would do my show, and then I would come home, and about 1 o'clock, almost like clockwork, I would catch a nap so that mm -hmm. I could stay up later at night, all right? So I trained myself to take a nap. To a, if, if, I, if I missed that window, I couldn't go to sleep. But if I did it right on time, 1 o'clock, so I'm lying there, I'm trying to go to sleep, and all of a sudden, I start hearing these fucking jets just, going over my apartment house. And I look out the windows. These guys are, you know, this far away from a building. And I'm and, and each other. 
I'm thinking, this is just, not only is it noisy and I can't sleep, and I wasn't an old man at the time, but I was sure yelling at him like an old man, like I'm <laughs> out the window going, you know, cut that noise out, you know. You can't do anything. It's, it's very frustrating because, you know, you yell at them, they don't hear it, right? So, I mean, uh, I have for years was talking on the air and, and lobbying to keep the Blue Angels from flying. Unless they just did it right over the water and that was it. But they didn't do that. For the rehearsals, they went right over buildings in San Francisco. It was dangerous. That was their deal. Well, you know? Yeah, well, <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them. And I kept praying yeah. they'd crash. I mean, that's how bad it got. You know, did, you, did you, robbed me, you robbed me of my sleep. You should crash. <laughs> hey, uh, it looks like there's a new rock band called Cardiac Rehab. Is that uh, Jeff? Is that, is that how you got that? I, I know this. No. They liked you so much they gave you a shirt? <laughs> yeah, they gave me a shirt. Yeah, what so happened, with your, what happened with your nuclear stress test the other day? I haven't, uh, I haven't heard yet. Uh, I, you know, they, they don't write you. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to write the cardiologist oh, and I, ask her. Oh, I know. I got my results... I think I got a call from the doctor when I got home. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, and he, I'll, have to, I'll have to see. I've checked for the last couple of days. Uh, Kaiser has this uh, online app, and you can see if you have any You know what uh, I love about or, the One thing I love about medicine now is that most hospitals have a web portal you can go to. And... You know, where I always had trouble calling my doctor because he was never able to call me and then maybe he'd call me later, but I wasn't there. Now I can just write him a note and he gets right back to me. Yeah. Up through this portal and I can look and see all my tests and how they came out the minute that they're posted. Uh, yeah. I can see my x-rays the minute they're posted. I mean, it's really pretty terrific. You know, uh, as uh, you know, as opposed to the days where you call your doctor and they say, well, he's busy right now. He'll call you back later. Yeah. Well, I might be dead later, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, I can write my doctor and say, hey, these pills are, you know, looping me out. I have bad side effects. Or he can say, stop taking them, you know. And I can get an immediate reaction from the doctor. So, I mean, that's really, that's a nice thing. That That's one good thing we're doing with the Internet. Yeah, that's true. And, by the uh, way, I, had a, reason, I'm used I, I had a reason to use my watch today. Yeah, what was that, the well, heartbeat? Well, well Marjorie, Marjorie had trouble getting in remotely to her computer here and uh i um uh, uh so I, I i had her call me and i and i talked to her on the phone i could hear her and then yeah. i was doing all the work i needed to do to get her online and things like that and point things and the watch is what i'm using to talk to her it was very convenient because I could operate a computer and all of that and still be talking with her and saying, okay, you know, you move over to the left, you go down to the right-hand side. And, you know, I, I, I really found a, a use for it today. So that's good. Mm. Plus, Mickey, well, Mick, Mickey always tells me the time. It's 10.42. Good night, pal. <laughs> good night, pal. Did you hear that? Good night, pal. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's 10.42. Yeah, so... can, can, he, can he call you chief? No, no, no. <laughs> Well, they, hey, Chief. Well, I have Minnie here. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Where's Minnie? Where, oh, she's back, back the other way. There we go. Wait a minute. Where are you, Minnie? There you are. Here we go. Here we go. What time is it, Minnie? It's 10.43. Good night. <laughs> That's very cool. Now, if, yeah, I I do, if I do it again... Uh, I haven't worn mine if lately. If I do it again, yeah. it doesn't go good night. It's 10.43. See, but the first time you do it in the evening, it'll say good night or good morning. It's cute. It's lovely. You know. I'm, Does yours make you enter a password all the time? No. Oh, this thing keeps oh, yeah, asking I, for I, a password. I, I'll tell you. Well, you go into your settings. Yeah. Wherever they are. I can't. On that watch, I don't know. And uh, you, you say passcode, and you just don't fill in the passcode. You want to not have a passcode. Yeah. Otherwise, right. you are going to be filling it out every, you know, having to tap it in every time you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so far uh, the jury's out, uh, but um, I, I'm not crazy about this. I love this thing, you know. And yeah. the bigger one now, they up the resolution, so it's very easy to read even without glasses. 
and uh, it's uh, the, 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 the the it's larger now. So you just you know it's it, it the screen is slightly larger, and I, it's really good. It's it's a it, it's an it, it's a good if it, if people are wondering should they get a watch should they get one of these watches I'd say now's the time to do it. The one I had was fine, but it was like the first year or first about second year that they were out. Mm -hmm. uh, but this thing, they've really they re-engineered the whole thing. They raised the volume on the audio forty uh, percent, so now you can really hear somebody when you're talking to them on the phone, and you don't have to like hold it up to your ear or anything like that in order to do it. So yours is the fourth iteration. This is the second or third. I'm not quite sure. How do you know? Uh, oh, God, I can't read the back of this thing. Wait a minute. Uh, I just got a thing said raise to speak. Oh, uh, somehow Siri went off, and it says raise to speak. Just bring the Apple Watch close to your mouth and make your request. There's no need to press the crown or say, hey, Siri. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, wait a uh, minute. hold on a second. Wait a minute. Uh, that's what okay. I thought. What? That's what I thought? Oh. Um, what time is it? Well, wait a minute. It said that I had to. What time is it? No. I... Time to buy a watch. No, no I got to press the crown. <laughs> what time is it, Siri? It's 10.45 p.m. Do you hear how loud that is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, and you said yeah, this, you, heard, you called me last night, and you said I I sounded like I was on any other kind of phone that you could it was really clear. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. This thing says it's a seven thousand series aluminum glass composite back. I don't know what this is. Uh, seven thousand series. What would that be? I don't know. When'd you buy it? I don't remember. I bought it for Faye. She never wore it because there was a series two, a series three, and a series. four. Four, and this is the series four that could have been the first one that came out yeah they, they called the 7000 okay uh wait a minute wait a minute i can i can do this. oh yeah yeah you have you have the net available to you yes i do hey i'm looking at myself and in, 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 on the uh, screen Just my face is all red and that you know maybe i look like kavanaugh because I've been drinking. Look up but, uh, Apple. Look up Apple Watch Seven Thousand on your computer. Just yeah. Type it in there. No, his is his is either a one or a two, and and Phil, you know what? Since you don't believe Alex and you don't believe me, I mm -hmm. would like you this weekend to take your watch to an Apple store so that they can show you the difference in the faces, because yeah. there is a difference and it drives you crazy. Well, the resolution. Uh, did you get the large one? Or did you get the smaller one. Uh, I got the smaller one, but boy, if I could have gotten a, gotten away with wearing the larger one, I would have done that. The resolution. This is a thirty-eight. The resolution. Yeah, much better. The, the resolution on the one that you have is probably pretty good, right? The new yep. one. Who me? On the new watch, it's easier to read. Oh yeah, yeah. much easier, and it's a bigger space, yeah. so that makes a huge difference. Yeah. It, that, and then Phil, you can turn off your passcode. So Alex, I don't I don't have my passcode on, but if you, I, I like your idea. So hopefully that's it. Uh, the other thing was Jeff, uh, REI sells about three different sport watch fitness watches by different brands. You mm. might do some research there since you don't want to go to Apple. Well, you should get a Fitbit well, because it's been solving crimes lately. Have you heard about <laughs> this? <laughs> I had one. I think somebody stole it, though. Oh, because that can fell off. Is they, there a Fitbit locator? Well, no. They found out. For instance, this one woman got killed, and they oh, they one that was jogging. They, they they no. They decoded her. I think she was home, and they decoded her Fitbit, and it told them what time she stopped breathing. It, it, wow. In other words, and and they that was the same time that her father-in-law or something left the house oh my god and so they solved That's... the crime using a fitbit and there are a couple of other cases where fitbits have been used too that's great that's, it's bad for thermometers they used to just stick one in the body to see how yeah, uh, see how, if what you the were, temperature was see if you were done yeah, <laughs> yeah. but hey it, it says here uh see apple watch 7000 series um it, oh is the apple watch a series one or two so uh, you, we have four now. So you had one, two, and three, and four. 
Yeah, so I'm. Uh, I think you're this a, might be the second generation. Yeah, you're a one or a two for some reason. I have that in my head, but but if it's strictly on, I hate punching in numbers on the stu- on, on the watch. Just take it in and go see no. how much bigger it is. It's the cheapness of the feel of the band and the watch. You know, I've been wearing a Rolex Submariner for uh, about 20 oh, years. No. Okay, so and, that's not no, fair. But you, you, and and is, I, I can't yeah. wear this. Listen, I had a... Um, uh, You're a snob. I've had a Movado. A Rolex snob. I've had a, yes, you are. <laughs> I've had a Movado I've been using for years. and um, That's a dress watch. It yeah. doesn't have much, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, uh, I really like... Uh, I, let me put it this way. When I bought the Apple Watch... Marjorie told me I was an idiot, you know. Why are you spending that money on an Apple Watch? And I thought I was going to have buyer's remorse. Uh, I not only didn't have buyer's remorse, I was really happy I had it. I, I found it terrific uh, in yeah. all aspects. And um, so uh, when I got this, I thought, well, now I'm really going to have buyer's remorse because I spent with taxes and with the protection and all of that $661 on this thing. And you already had one. And I already had one. And <laughs> and so far, I, I don't have a, 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 a scintilla of buyer's remorse. Do you, uh, uh, Renee? No, it's, it has been logging stuff right and left, and that's what I wanted it to do. And now I'm using it more for, I'm an old school person when it comes to doing to-do lists. So mm. It's nice to be able to do them on the computer and then take them with you to the grocery store or to Target or wherever you're going or hard Renee, or to Home Depot. Mm-hmm. Is this your first one? Uh, no, see, and this is why I can talk about this. The other, so this is what we've been waiting for. Actually, we're waiting for some of the bigger, a little bit of a bigger face or the one that projects on your skin. But this watch does so much more than one or two does. And so, and especially since you're a heart patient, that that puts you in the for God's sakes, go get something well, that it's, can say they don't have it. They don't have they don't have it, they don't have, it. They don't have it yet. They, they right. yeah they can it's coming. They can check right. your heartbeat, but it, 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 coming in I think uh, maybe the first of the year. Uh, I'm going to be able to just touch the crown, push a button, and it will do an EKG on me. Right. Uh, and that's cool. That's very cool. So the other thing I saw with the uh, uh, Apple, and by the way, by the way, it'll give a, give, give a PDF readout, so you can take it to your doctor, your send doctor, it, send or it just to send you. it to your doctor. Yep. So Jeff, as a heart patient, what do you think of this PD, uh, this uh, this EKG on a Apple Watch? Do you think it's a gimmick or? No, no, no. The American no. Heart Association has already uh, 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 approved it, and the FDA has approved it. I th- I think it'd be very good for you know there's certain patients who really have a variety of, of uh, let's say responses to their heart um, for whatever reason walking or or because of their own internal changes that it could be very helpful to say hey it's time to go to the doctor like. I've, I've got a I've got a buddy that's a cardiologist and he's also a photographer and when we're shooting rock concerts like at the UC theater where he shoots he's a house guy there uh, uh, he he's looking at his iPhone and he's monitoring his cardiac patients uh, mm-hmm. you know well, it's actually yeah, got yeah, a, yeah, a readout yeah. on the iPhone. well you know you know what this also has I, I have it set to do it is let's say I'm on a ladder and I fall yeah it detects my fall and immediately gets ready to dial 911, but first it asks me. But if it detects that I'm not moving, it will call on its own. So does it ask you if you were a moron first before you went up you on the Basically, line? if you're a klutz beforehand. <laughs> well, so, no, they, they assume the answer to that is always yes. <laughs> and yeah. and, and they, yeah. it automatically sets itself if you say you're, like, over 75 years old. It automatically sets itself to do that. So. Do you guys know uh, Boston Scientific? Yeah. 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 So I, I have uh, one of their uh, pacemakers. And, and uh, at home, I have a monitor like right next to my bed that every day it's, um, while I'm in bed, it's giving me a, 
an update through Boston Scientific wow. all the time, continuous. So how much do you think that cost you, Jeff, all of that inside of you? Less than, more or less than 600 and some odd dollars? You know, to send a, a signal, it cost me the, the fact that I have to have a telephone. Okay. You have to have a line. It doesn't cost me anything. Yeah, yeah, but all of the problems that you went through in order to do that, now technology, and that was how many years ago, because now we've got technology that allows us to do this stuff on, some of the stuff on our watch, which is going to save a lot of people from having to go through what you had to go through. It might save, yeah. it, it might save a few you lives. Know, a, yeah. a pacemaker is, you know, it's something because your, your heart is not giving the appropriate signals all the time. Yeah. And I don't need to watch yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, by, by the way, uh, uh, Brene, before we go any further, I never got an invite for you for walkie talkie. So, oh. so uh, go on and message me your phone number so I can, okay. you know, so that I can ask you. Okay. To walkie talkie. Okay, so, we'll see if that works. And then, were you asking Jeff how much he has spent on his oper or the, has been spent on his operations, or were you asking just uh, what the cost of the communications were? Well, no, it wasn't the cost of the communications. It's the fact that we now have something this size that we can do outside of the body, which is far less evasive than than the inside of the body. So if you if if you or if your parents or if you have heart disease, this is with all of the things that you need on it, it's 600 and some odd dollars. It's far cheaper than a stay let, in the let hospital. Me, let, me, let me ask you. So that's, wait a minute. That's exactly what I was, I was wondering because my daughter, uh, about, well, for the last five years that we've been watching, we've been talking about, she's had heart issues with her mitral valve. Oh. She's 13 years old. Yeah. And it started when she was five and just... Two weeks ago, when I was leaving on my trip, she woke up in the middle of the night and had chest pains. Yeah. Oh. And so now we're starting the whole thing. Now that she's going into puberty, we have to go back. I'm going to take her in next week. We had to go get her an EKG, and we have to start now monitoring her pain in her chest, and you know, you know, write down when she has these these chest pains. And then yeah. take it to the doctor. This would be perfect for her. It'd be perfect. Well, I've got yeah. a blood pressure thing that also uh, does the heartbeat and tells you if the heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, I've got that if too. If it's irregular, the Omron or whatever it is. Yeah, I've got that yeah. too. But and, and I don't carry do that with me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, it doesn't but carry. The watch you can't would be perfect. It. If it, uh, by the way, let, let me uh, let me ask uh, Renee this. Renee, uh, you 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 got it cellular? Did you? I yeah I got all of it because yeah. I'm starting I have high cholesterol so yeah. that puts me in the category of heart disease yeah. so yeah. I had to turn in my two because I hated every second of the two and as soon as because I I was waiting as, as, that's how I got my watch a week before you did is as soon as they announced when I was able to dial or to go online and do it I logged into my password and log ID and I got on there and I ordered it in a heartbeat well, because is, I needed to get rid of the two that I had. Yeah, I what do you mean two. you turned in your two? What did you what did you do? Oh, so let's go over this. So everybody on the planet should understand the fact that Apple understands about reusing and refurbishing their equipment. If you go to apple.com and as long as Apple has products, refurbished, reusable products, all you need to do is go to apple.com, go to the very bottom of the page. It happens to be from the left-hand side. It's the second row, and it says refurbished and clearance items. So they will go ahead and buy. If, if it's worth something, they will see, buy it did, back did, did from you. you. See if how it's much, not worth something, they will yeah. recycle did, did, it for you. Did you see how much they would pay, uh, the watch you've got there, Phil? Yeah, yeah. they'll give you. They'll it. give you a whole twenty. They'll give you a whole twenty-five dollars for that. Oh, I'm, well, no, I'm my on three it. was my three was like a hundred and. But, but that was a three. The one he's mm -hmm. got, the one I he's got, which I think is about the same generation okay. as my other one. Two. I got a quote of two of twenty-five dollars. 
Yeah, but you know what? It, it's it, so well, I figure the good the goodwill of giving it much of a recycled the, program the, for these in yeah, your local the, the goodwill of just uh, giving it to somebody like oh I Patrick would be more worth it than the twenty five dollars. So that's the back on the four. Yeah. yeah. It looks so those things that that when you're driving and they tell you to to, to turn left or turn right, it's a whole different experience with them now. Yeah, this this is the back on the two. Yeah, I saw that. It's nasty. You should get rid of that. There's penicillin. For Hello, that. Patrick. <laughs> How you Sorry. doing, Patrick? Uh, I'm I'm damn near as can be. Oh really? There aren't any baseball games tonight for you because our there our, our, are. View, our viewership is lower, although it's now going up. I guess the ball game is maybe over. I don't know. You know. Uh, hold on, we can check. Uh, it. LA's playing. Who cares? Yeah. Who we did? well, pff, I jinxed everybody today. I'm, I can't watch anymore. <laughs> oh. I said, let's go see how the A's are doing. They lost. Let's yeah. go see how and they lost. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not watching. Let's see how the Democrats problem. are doing. <laughs> they lost. <laughs> So yeah, I just jinxed everybody. So I can't watch New York and um, Boston mm-hmm. because I want New York to win because I don't like Boston. So I I, I was just jinxing people. Yeah, yeah. Team. Uh, yeah. As well. Yeah. So. I know it's a stupid thing. It's and baseball is one of the most superstitious games you're gonna people have yep. have such yeah. D- is it like that in football too? Does anybody know? What? Not so bad. Not so bad. Just baseball. They, they're well, always about, getting on their knees. Baseball, they, you know, you can't step on the lines and the whole bit. Yeah, there's lots of weird. Yeah, lucky gloves, lucky, lucky uh, yep. spit. Uh, you know, there's yep. all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's, some it's some a, guys it, it, wear a it, hat it, it, or a beard, or they it, don't shave yeah. for the whole season. Well, it's an obsessive. Hockey, hockey can get a little su- superstitious too. You no, know, you know yeah. that isn't superstition. Really That's bad. obsessive compulsive behavior. Well, it, it may be, but they think it's luck, you know, that uh, that if they shave, they're, they're going to break their mojo or, uh, you yep. know. Yeah. 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 Um, it, you know, well. well uh, baseball is a kind of thing where, you know, one day you can get up and you can, you can, you can hit the ball every day, you know, yeah. three times. And the other day, zero. You yeah. go into a slump. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can do that. But um, anyway, um, so let me see here. Uh, today was, uh, if you're if you're a uh, a liberal, it was a fairly depressing day today. Yeah. Oh, you're such a gracious winner. Yeah, I I love it. I'll rub it in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday I went and got my resting trump face botoxed again <laughs> you see it trump face oh, oh yeah. yeah see it works perfect 24 <laughs> normally it doesn't work that fast but i must have had a little left so here it is yep no okay it works now well. faye <laughs> uses this stuff i got her called rose stem cells you, t- you mentioned that and, yeah and it, and it works i mean i i've tried it okay hold on two seconds isn't she of superior melanoma uh she yes she is uh, darker than i am okay so that's like just saying what do you mean superior you know? melanoma what do you mean by well, that well you know People bags, under, bags yeah. under the eyes yeah uh lines i mean you know i mean she's she's filipina you know i mean they get wrinkles and bags too not like the rest uh, of you us know but- what, you know what the problem with with uh, with women especially as they're getting older is the amount of money they spend on maintenance <laughs> is extraordinary. I mean, Marjorie is never home before. She gets off at 3 o'clock. She's never home before 5.30 because she's either having her hair done, her nails done, uh, 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 this done, that done. You know, I'm going, what do they do? You go down to this place and they put you up on a rack and lube you? What are they? What, what's <laughs> going on here? You know, it's like her maintenance is just, it's very costly, you know. Wait, it's not. Yes, yes, She's Jeff. sending you a bill? Yes, Jeff. Well, after I personally got a chance to meet Marjorie, mm-hmm. and she told me how old she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, amazing, well, right? But she looks great. Oh, she oh, looks she terrific. Looks I'm a very lucky guy. You she, know. She's terrific. 
Uh, and I don't know, and I don't know what she's doing, but it must be good cream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. Point. yeah. Well, it's it's uh, you know, but all I'm saying is that the amount of uh, like you were talking about Botox, you know. Have you ever thought of Botox, uh, uh, Phil or Jeff or nah. Patrick? Nah. No. No, oh, Patrick's too young. Okay, I, I bet- thought of I thought of a facelift or uh, or a neck. You know. you know, they do that in in the office now where they just inject the stuff and then you go home and it dissolves the fat. I couldn't do that. No, I, 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 I have to. It's Why couldn't just, you have done that? It, it's not just the fat. I like my dewlap. I'm getting to look like a uh, monitor lizard. You well, know? Patrick, <laughs> who's had more procedures done than all of us, says I can't do that. <laughs> and the, the funny thing is, Renee, I get shit from my mother about exactly what you just said. She said word for word to me constantly. Because I went to get a tetanus shot a few weeks ago. And a shot doesn't bother me, you know, in the muscle or something. But, like, getting an IV, I hate getting an IV. Because (laughs) it's always in a more sensitive area, you know, of your arm or your hand. And I just, I'm the worst with needles. And I've said this. And I'll say it on this show in case there's spies that need to know things. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know anything from me about anything in my life, come at me with a syringe and I will give you any information. You don't have to touch me with it. Just threaten me with a syringe. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, uh, I, uh, I, I, I went in my, do- my doctor, this uh, neurologist, Sorry. he's always wanting me to leave the office and go have a test, you know. Uh, this time he didn't, but the last time I went, he decided he had to ha- take a whole blood panel to see if I had certain things like B12 overload or some I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he took a whole panel of stuff, which all turned out to be just perfect, you know, so it wasn't causing whatever problem I had. And she had to use three syringes full of blood on me, and uh, she, she poked me right there, right, right in the crook of the arm i was black and blue for a week and a half there i mean she didn't hit it the first time well what i tell them to do because they have uh, trouble finding a vein in my my crook of my arm i tell them just you know go through my uh, you can see the veins here you go through my hand really you really want us to go through i said yeah i I I don't tell them the same thing and to use a butterfly and they always want to see if they can find it first in the arm i don't know it's like a point of pride with them i can find it yeah. You know, I'm the person yeah, who can find exactly. the vein. Yes, Jeff. I have no problems. And I'll tell you why. Why? I always go over to Yale and have it done there. And there's like six people who do it all day long. Well, so does it, so did this woman who left me they black and blue. Everybody. No, but and they're they're terrific about them. And the other yeah. thing is, I always say, thank you. You guys are terrific. I figured that I'd get an extra 10% on that one. <laughs> well, it, it, I have but great I mean, success. I'm black and blue, Mark, and for a The other places, I... I'm bleeding and I'm swollen. And, and you got to go through seven times and it didn't work. And They're poking around. Yeah. 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 These people yeah. just... I like yeah. when I was in the hospital, it was just all intravenous. Once they got the needle in, it just stayed there. You know, oh. and, and, and they just kept... They did everything through there. Yes, Patrick. Well, the uh, kidney stone surgery I had two years ago. Oh, by the way, by the way, we're losing all our young listeners. Go ahead. (laughs) We lost them four years ago. Yeah, I think so. (laughs) It took, I had what they called at the hospital, their IV all-star team. They got some fucking name for it, that they're, they're the greatest. They came in. And they had to stab me no less than 12 times. I, uh... They gave up. And that was including the digging around, or, you know. And then I finally requested, just give me the damn floor nurse. And she came in, and it took her two times, and she was in. And I, my preference is to have the anesthesiologist do it right when I'm in the hangar bay ready for surgery. Because I've had the anesthesiologists are in perfect and never, never a problem. 
So yeah, they say uh, the ones in my arms they are deep or they roll or they you know. But I just tell them put it in the hand. Yeah, I'm the, just like Alex, it, it, and with the hand and a and a butterfly, yeah. uh, it's it's no big deal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I wonder if so the next time uh Diana Nurse of the Night uh has a night off, maybe she can tell us why they prefer to do the arm uh, over the doing it on the outside of the hand. Probably prob I would say probably it has something to do with uh the fact that it would, you know, uh maybe the thing would fall off or they, I think they, what they're worried about is that they feel it's going to hurt you more. In, now, in, is that I, you're talking about over. just for taking blood, or are you talking about blood. them putting in the thing so that they can oh, put the IV in and all that I other stuff? I can't remember. When I was in the hospital, I think they did it in my, they found a place in my arm, and that's where it was for like four days. But when yeah. they did, do the uh, draws, I just tell them, take it, out, take it out of my hands. I don't care. I'm no pussy. Don't, you know, I'm no pussy. You can't grab me. You know, well, yeah, they even uh, it was date was it day before yesterday they did it in my hand and then they injected the uh, isotope. Yeah, you know the the well, radioactive. Wasn't isotope. that wasn't th wasn't that uh, the the uh, the stip did they did they have you on a treadmill? Yes. Oh, okay. Because me, they artificially stimulated my heart, and I thought I t they they wanted to do that oh, this time, oh, and I said, hey, ghastly. can I have a treadmill? I, I said I heard that it's uh, uncomfortable. And I and they said you really want to do the treadmill. I said, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather do the treadmill than uh, than what you described, which was your heart was racing and. Oh no! Uh, it's just you felt. I felt like I was going to drop dead. That's how I yeah. felt. Well, I, I was afraid of that, so I said, yeah, no, 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 please give me the treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, okay. we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, 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 can we close the doors on Alex's waiting room? <laughs> yes. The, the, by the way, I hope well, you enjoyed Boy's Life. That's the only magazine we have here. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you close the door in the waiting room, what door are you planning on opening? Now we're kicking everybody's ass out. Well, when one door subject. closes, another door opens. That's the uh, positive way right. of looking at life. <laughs> um, however, the door that would open in this particular case is not a pleasant one. Um, I wrote Susan Collins tonight uh, telling her that shame on you you're gonna live to regret you're gonna live to regret this uh, not only for women in America but for America as a whole well you should just go to Alaska where you can feel comfortable you know uh, I am I am very happy that uh, they didn't allow uh, a bunch of crazy people uh, who don't like the rule of law to uh, railroad this guy. I don't like the fact that you make general statements like that. That that's not a it's not a court. It's not a court. I don't it care. I don't care. Well, here we go. Here. I don't care if it's a luncheonette. We like the rule of law. That's not a true statement. <laughs> you yeah, like that, Alex, huh? Occasionally, occasionally you make me laugh, Phil. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care if it's a luncheonette. Um, you know, uh, I just you know what this this is going to get bad and and so what's going to happen now is that listen, by the way doesn't Susan Collins know her name is Susan right Susan yeah yeah uh, Susan so. Collins uh, uh, doesn't she know how to give a short speech oh God no I this mean, was her moment she was going to drag goddamn that goddamn thing you know went on for fucking ever you knew where she was going with it but it was yeah. like it was a commercial for this guy. You know, stop, but it's not over just, yet. Just stop thinking that you're that that this is going to end well for women. Just stop it. Stop thinking that any of these Republicans are going to come over to the Democratic side. Stop it. They're not, and we won't. But you know, uh, the this is way. not the end how, of how it. Many, uh, I heard today how many Democratic uh, senators are Republican? Uh, fe excuse me, Republican senators are female. I don't know. I think it's I think it's one, isn't it? No, it can't be because you got like Collins and Murkowski. Three. Murkowski, yeah, it's a very, very small amount compared. It's less than a five compared to con America. compared to Congress. Compared to Congress. Oh yeah, well no, con we well, had five hundred twenty-five. Well, Congress Congress has gotten pretty a lot of females in Congress now, a lot yeah. of them. Uh, hello there, Brian. Hello. Yeah. Hey, you having a better day today than yesterday? 
Oh, yeah. Did you ever well, hear from the up. guy? He blocked them. Oh, he blocked them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that and I'm, 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 uh, I've been home all day, so I do it. I do a trip like that, and I pretty much feel like hammered shit anyway for the next uh for the next 12 to 14 hours. So. Well, but now you were in the car. Last night you were in the car, and you were in it for the whole show. That is correct. Like, what, where were you going? Yep. going I was going York, to uh, Hamilton. What? You, you were Cumberland. To... Virginia. Is it Cumberland? Cumberland, Virginia? Maryland, or Cumberland Gap? There, there's a, uh, I forget. Well, I want to say anywhere. it was Cumberland, Virginia, or some, somewhere a little south of Richmond. To a hospital that I had to make a delivery to. What 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 are you <clears throat> delivering now? Are you delivering human parts again? Uh, I think it was just medication. Oh, okay, all right. So in Damn. other words, you're so a dr- went to their pharmacy in, department. In other words, we could you could put on your on your uh, uh, job application you were um, uh, a drug dealer. <laughs> what time? What time did you get home last night? Last night, this yeah. morning, I got home at uh, seven thirty. I would have gotten home at five thirty in the morning if I hadn't had to take a two hour nap to after I was now, are you, are you down using, at the intersection. I, I kind of found the nearest rest area and slept for two hours. I, I, are you using their vehicle or your own? For this particular company being an independent contractor, I am using my own. And uh, how far did you travel on that trip? I want to say I traveled about. 470 miles, maybe. Is that that's round nothing. trip? That's like going to L.A. from San Francisco. Yeah, but still, that's a lot of time. Now, do you get paid for all of that? I hope you get paid. I was paid that. 300 and I think $357 for that. Well, I mean, if you did that every day, you'd have a, five days a week, you'd at least have some money coming in. You know, you can't you have do a, it every day. You have a it's hybrid? a two-day turnaround. Oh, can you, you also, get, you, you gas also, is $4 a gallon. You here. also charge him, for, you charge him for the gas above and beyond that, don't you? Okay. Uh, he not for the gas, but they pay contract. for the tolls. Yeah, they, oh, they don't pay for the gas? My God. No. What a do you have a hybrid? <laughs> no, I do not. No. Oh, I do wait a Honda Elantra, but... Yeah. Um, but I, uh, today I was just... Uh, I got to the point where I just went, I can't even pay attention to this stuff anymore. I know. It is just... I know what you're talking about, it, too. It is so unnerving... And so mm-hmm. depressing, uh, uh, you know that uh, just the whole, the whole, the fact that these senators uh, can't have their own mind on something that they have to vote as a tribe. That's what we think know? about you guys. No, you know, it shows, all, I'm, I'm, not, I'm being serious. Well, we, we look at this and we think that uh, it's like. Schumer goes like this, Pelosi goes like that, and you guys fall in lockstep. Uh, you know, Patrick, did, did you hear? Uh, by the way, did you hear the news that Schumer got arrested? No. What? Yes. Is that Sh- fake news? Schumer? No, this is not fake news. I have Schumer. It's uh, got to be her because she was protesting. Yes, Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah, she was protesting. And Emily Ratajkowski. Ratajkowski, uh, can't pronounce oh. it. It's Ratajkowski, were arrested yesterday, according to media reports, as dozens of demonstrators were detained during protests over the Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh at the Hart Senate bi- office building on Capitol Hill. Uh, Schumer can be I seen on a video taken, posted on Twitter being asked by police whether she wants to be arrested and answering yes. <laughs> Yes. Well, see, that was the celebrity one. The the cool one or the one that you wanted to be at yeah. was someone, a bunch of kids, excuse me, a bunch of young adults threw a kegger outside of Mitch McConnell's house last night. <laughs> <laughs> he likes beer. <laughs> no, not- and they were singing all sorts of songs like, the whole night. It was it was great. I it, wanted it to was, be there. Uh, it it uh, <laughs> Uh, there was some incident where somebody broke in and too bad it wasn't all the tough cocktails. Yeah, well, and those documents co- uh, contained uh, uh, three uh, senators' uh, phone numbers and their home address. Good, 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 good. 
Just like when uh, Agit Pai got uh, talked guys are at, at, at this at this at this, guys, at this point at this point uh, I no they're not terrorists no they're not no. terrorists these people are no. public servants and their and their uh, information I, is made public uh, and no. I, I got to tell you at this Fuck. at this point I am so mad I'd almost do that sort of thing you know okay so the person is is in jail right now pending charges on that the person who leaked that information Lock but you know up. what but you know what Phil yeah. Uh, I, you people are going to have a really hard time showing your face in places, so I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm thinking about signing let up for like let them Periscope. Try. No lunch for let you. No lunch for you. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of mace be. for them. I think. Uh, you gotta if, get I, I think if you spray? see if you see any of these people, you should spit on them. Ah, no, that's well, dangerous. But I. Well, how yeah. is that? How how is that Cold, dangerous? It, How's that dangerous? Wait, hold, they don't know in. if I'm uh, clean and AIDS free and things like that. You don't want to put your spit on people. Oh mm. my God, we're back to if I touch you and you have AIDS, we get AIDS. Yeah. Is that well, where I'm we are again? No, no. By the way, by the way, I, I, I saw something funny tonight. I just got to mention it. Was it. 1980 Ooh. era's ignorance and prejudice? Uh, C CNN, CNN did a series on the history of comedy. In the last episode of the last run, we were watching tonight, and it was about. R racial humor, uh, and uh, uh, they ran a clip of Key and Peele, and there the, it was a sketch in which they were two black guys who all of a sudden make, meet up with these zombies who are coming towards them, and they surround them, and then they won't touch them because they're black. <laughs> <laughs> And they're complaining, fucking racist zombies. <laughs> they don't like dark meat. I thought, what a concept. That's a great concept, you know. That and the they showed the Chappelle thing, the black Ku Klux Klan, the black yeah. blind Ku Klux Klan man who, because he's blind, doesn't know he's black. And the one guy's head explodes when he finally exposes himself in that uh, audience. The yeah. one redneck, his head explodes. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that part. Yeah. No, but, uh, that might have been that might have been an edited that might have been edited out. I, gotta I was go, watching I, uh, I, those shows unedited. I got to go back and watch computer. those those uh, those uh, Chappelle shows and those Key and Peele shows because they were. There's they an were uncensored good. version you can find on that, Alex. Okay, I'll I'll look for it. I will look for it. But, you know, I mean, I just think we're in, I wish, you know, somebody once said, uh, I, I hope you live in interesting times. Uh, and unfortunately, these are interesting times, but I'm not happy to be living in them. You know, uh, I think that it, it doesn't <laughs> speak well for who we've become as a people. Uh, I, I, and I'm, I'm saying on both sides. I mean, this was just became such a bitter clusterfuck, this whole thing. And what I don't like, what I think is horrible, is that you don't make things better by blaming each other. Uh, you know, I hear all these Republicans going, oh, you know, that uh, m m m Dr. Ford was uh, was taken advantage of by the Democrats. I mean, fuck you. That's you just know, a talking point. I know, but it's a bad talking point, and it's a divisive talking, talking point. Talking point that works course. for people of your side, Phil. Well, you know, the, the thing is, is I don't believe that this type of rhetoric has changed at all since the formation of this country and countries before it. I believe that this is exactly the way people act. And the only difference is that we have a 24-hour news cycle and, and, and we're seeing it unfold in Make front of us. Make a good point there. You know, well, you, make I, a, you, I, may, yeah, you do make a good point there, but what I'm saying is, is that, um, uh, you know, let's face it, I mean, you're right. Politics have always been a dirty deal. In fact, it's my considered opinion that we don't need any of them. You That's know? what killed Alexander Hamilton. I mean, uh, I thought it was the play. It's, it's people constantly vying for power that causes problems in this country right. and every country around every the world. Every country. It doesn't matter. Uh, and, even Hitler. In and Hitler, and yet, it was the same and, thing. And yet, why do we, where, where do we get the notion, you know, to begin with, as you know, it's impossible for any of us or, or all of us to, on our own, run this country without somebody administering it, okay? 
uh, because we don't have the time nor the inclination. But what happens is when you set up people to administer it, rather than work for the people, they're working for each other and they're working to protect their own asses and they're protecting themselves to get reelected so they constantly have a paycheck coming in. And that's what it becomes. And we get away from why they're there, which is to serve us and to do the best How job come? they can by us. How come a majority of them go into Congress with very little money, and when they exit, they're multimillionaires? Well, you just say you what is, you've answered the question by asking it. Yeah, right. You know, uh, so it's uh, you know, except for people like Pelosi, who had more money than God before she went into Congress, yeah, uh, uh, or Senate, and and the same yeah, thing. As much with, as you uh, hate Pelosi, you got to admit, you know, she doesn't really need to put up with this shit. But she no, does. but it's it's a power thing. No, I don't know? think it's a power thing. I know I've known Na I know Nancy and I know her family. I know I, I know. and uh, I know her daughter. Uh, and but it, you knew her when he, she was a uh, he, you know the Marin he, County. Well, no, uh, no, she wasn't Marin County. That was Barbara Box. Oh, who was the what was Pelosi a supervisor? I can't remember. I think she's only like a supervisor. But here's the thing: she didn't go into politics till she was like 40, 45, when her kids had grown up and were on their way to college and stuff and she didn't have to she had an empty nest and she decided mm -hmm. to go into politics uh, she could have just laid back and done nothing but she wanted to be a politician she wanted to make a difference so for whatever you want to say about pelosi she's got all the money she needs so she doesn't need the job and she, i do say plenty and i she's part of the problem I she's a part of the corporatic problem no well she's not i don't think she's corporate particularly to tell you the truth you know when i look at her voting record and so on i don't see that brian uh uh, I'm saying that, you know, everybody likes to pile on Pelosi because, well, I guess she's a female. That's why they pile on her. Uh, the power is addicting, though. You know, when she became Speaker of the House, the first thing she wanted was her own 747. And, you know, when they when everybody protested and said, hey, look, the Speaker of the House does not need a 747. You can fly commercial. Uh, she wasn't happy about that. Yeah, Bernie uh, Sanders flies commercial. Christ, but, I think but, he flies coach. On He's hers, also on, a socialist. So but, there's but, two, but he flies two, by the so. way, I heard you know I heard some unnerving stuff about Bar Bernie Sanders this last weekend because the people we were staying with know Bernie, and say he's not the real deal, that he's a big hypocrite, and that he's a, he's really an asshole, <laughs> and so, and they hate him. They just hate him because they had to what's do. What's the stuff that he has a Ferrari? And by the way, they're big liberals. These people. What? Yeah. I don't know if he uh, has a Bernie Ferrari. Sanders, they say, has a Ferrari. Look, I don't care. You know, that doesn't make him a worse guy uh, because and, he's and got a Ferrari. And his wife uh, had some uh, uh, untoward dealings uh, when she was uh, with a uh, college. Some, uh, I think they, I think they mentioned that his wife, his wife is just as bad. Yeah. You know, and these are people who are big liberals. I mean, they love Leahy. They think and he's from Vermont, too. They love Leahy. But in fact, Vermont's kind of weird. I saw their lieutenant governor on television. He's got a ponytail. You know, that's that's Vermont for you. I know the ponytails are terrible. Yes. Uh, hand up, uh, Renee. So so what you didn't. So I'm not Nancy Pelosi's fan. She did something pretty stupid and I haven't forgiven her for it yet. But, Phil, the point, there's two things that were happening at the point Nancy Pelosi asked for that jet. The reason, one of the reasons is, is because it was the only jet at that particular time that would do a cross country from Washington, D.C. flight. All right. And the other thing was, is that, and I hate this, which I had forgotten about. So thank you, Phil, is the fact that our representatives fly, uh, work four days a week, but they have that last day to fly and they get paid for that fly day. So that was the other thing that was happening during that time period where Nancy Pelosi was talking about getting a, a getting an airplane because she didn't want to fly because it was the only thing that w would fly nonstop and commercial wasn't doing any nonstop. But it, it, I, I'm not her biggest fan, but just there's got the context to that and I'm still not her biggest fan. Didn't but, McCain have some other, uh, McCain had some beef over nonstop flights and refused to take a certain airline or a certain flight because, uh, do you remember that? It was, it was something that they talked about recently. 
uh, about McCain and not not taking a, a certain flight number. Uh, Maybe it was his airplane that went down flight number. No, no I, I don't no, remember it that. Wasn't that. It was that it wasn't a nonstop, and they did uh, they it wouldn't do something, and he. Uh, he he wasn't happy about it. Well, you got to was... remember to begin with these these congressmen are uh, and and senators alike are constantly in the air. They're constantly traveling. You know yeah. when they when they're through uh, when they got a couple of weeks off in Congress, they're not staying in Washington. In fact, a lot of them sleep in their offices. You know that's what I was going to say. Uh, they don't want them to sleep in their offices, but they are. Well, they don't get and... a good they don't get a nice uh, amount of money to find a place for lodging like maybe a house in washington dc so the poorer ones can't afford a house in washington dc or but, they get an airbnb deal uh from one of their oh, constituents there was a, there was and then they get skewered there was a series on uh, what was it was it amazon or uh, where with john goodman uh where they were all senators and they were all living four of them in the same house together because that's how they <laughs> one guy had the house and he rented out the rooms to the other ones Right. Uh, but, I mean, that traveling back and forth, I think, would be the thing that would drive me crazy. I mean, you got to get to the airport, and then you got to get on the plane, and then maybe it's, you know, you're, you're in Omaha somewhere, and there isn't a flight nonstop to Omaha to Des Moines, so you got to take it to Chicago and then take it to Des Moines. I mean, you know, it, who wants to be a fucking congressman or senator? Fuck it. Did I like you hear what the I like retirement here is complaining about. and the medical? Oh, yeah, yeah. All they have to do is for do life. it for one term, and yep. they're in for like life. Flint. Yeah, yeah for life. Yeah. But it's always been that way. That's nothing new. Well, it doesn't. That, it always been that way. It doesn't have to be an accepted statement. They, they have health care for the rest of their life. Their gas is paid, or they have a reduced rate gas underneath the pen or underneath some of the buildings in Washington, D.C. They get paid for working four days and they get to fly the fifth. They get, and I can just keep going on because those things are uh, have always been there. The thing that changed the game was when um, our last sexual predator was allowed onto the court which of course is clarence thomas and he helped he helped with the citizens united vote so there's it uh, i don't know how you think we can win anything without fixing citizens united i i don't know i just don't uh know. legislative amendment it has to be from the legislative branch to fix the judicial malfeasance as well as the previous legislative malfeasance that has, that has occurred in the previous years it's a it's a monumental task don't get me wrong renee but that's that that would be my direct answer to your question yeah it's just it's clarence so now that brett kavanaugh is going in we're going to look at things like roe v wade and then we're and i know patrick you don't believe this is going to happen but Dude, it's gonna happen. Uh, and then hey, I you think, know, and Amy said I'm crazy, but she think uh, uh, I think they're after. I think uh, Trump wants to be king I, or I, emperor, can, and they're yeah. getting after can the twenty second amendment. Can I, can I, can I say, say something here? Uh, I am. Uh, I I I could sit here like you and say the same thing. Except that we never know that once somebody gets on the court, how they're going to act. A lot of them suddenly realize the power they've been given, and they become a little more reserved with it. Uh, there is Your some buddy Stevens, was he appointed by Nixon? Uh, he was appointed by Nixon, I think. You're and right. he's the one that came out and he's said that yeah. Kavanaugh shouldn't be on the court. No, I think it was Reagan. I think it was Reagan. It was, the, okay, yeah. well. He's uh, a Republican. Yeah, so here's a guy that was appointed by a Republican mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, is definitely one of the more liberal judges that had been on the well, court. Well, I mean, a good example, uh, there are a couple of examples of this. Uh, one of the prime ones was when Eisenhower, he said it was the biggest mistake he ever made, put, uh, put uh, Earl Warren on the court as the chief justice. Uh, and it turned out that Earl Warren who they thought was going to be a, uh, a conservative, uh, turned out, or at least a, a, a right winger, uh, turned out to be a big lefty. And they had to live with that. Uh, was Brandeis I'm, a lefty? I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying to remember. I think so, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, in the case of uh, Kennedy, Kennedy was very much to the right. Then he veered towards the middle. So we don't know. 
until a guy is in there exactly what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. Uh, there is, if you listen to Susan Collins, she says that she asked him directly about Roe v. Wade, and he said that's, that's precedent law, and uh, it's been there long enough that it shouldn't be changed. So, you know, we don't know how he's going to vote on something like that. That's the part what where I go. What about equal marriage? Well, <laughs> it, well, you know, you just don't know. All we know is we don't like the guy because he seems to not be the thing we want to have sitting on the Supreme Court. But still, you don't know how he's going to turn out. Given a, the next 10 years, as he gets older, a lot of his feelings may change. He either may become more conservative or he may become more to the left. You know, you don't know. But that's why they release his paperwork. You do know. He's already written about these things. He's already made up his mind that president uh, that a president can excuse themselves or, 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 or on and on and on. That's why they chose him over everybody else is because he's going to bring those things to the Tea Party, and that's what the Tea Party was promised, so that's what he's going to do. Well, you know, the party's thing is, almost the, dead. The thing is that Not what, dead. what you've got is you've got the, federal, uh, the Federalist uh, organization, and they literally raise these guys. When they get out of law school, if they see somebody who's promising, they help finance him, they follow him, they tutor him, and so on. This guy was one of those guys. Are you citing a conspiracy here? No, the federal, the, the, what the is Federalist it? Society. The, the Federalist Society is where Trump went to get the names. Okay. Yes. And they were vetted, except on the third go around of names, uh, this guy was added. Kavanaugh Trump. Was added. Somebody added, and was it Trump that added it? Him? I don't, Kavanaugh. I don't know. Yeah. I, so. I understand that he Kavanaugh was not on that list. It he was not on the first a list. Two. Yeah, it was not the list that was given to him by the Federalist Society. And I understand it, and I haven't gone to look for it, that um, this was Trump's guy. This was his man. So he said he, he didn't know the guy, he, and, he, and he hadn't met him until uh, the process started. He, he's so, Trump is so lazy, I, I believe that probably is true. You know, uh, okay. but but the thing is, uh, Renee, is is that all you can do now, since this guy is going to be on the Supreme Court starting next Tuesday. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, the best thing that you can do is hope and pray this guy's a little more to the left than you think he is. That's all you can do. That's the only the only useful thing you can do is to say a little prayer tonight, you know, because there's not a goddamn thing other thing you can do. Well, it's not over yet. I mean, there no, is over. there was thirty hours of. Uh, yeah, but that, I guess that, it's that's all, before the final vote. Yeah, that's all. It's what it they do. It's I over, mean, and we'll see what happens would, on November sixth. You know what I just think is ridiculous is I'm sure there are quite a few Republicans out there who say I don't like this guy. I don't think this guy's good. I don't think he's the right guy for the job. There's already too much baggage with this guy. If we have any doubts, we shouldn't vote for him. But they're not going to do that because the Republicans, they don't want to vote outside their party. And that's what we've come to. Occasionally, but that's, in, in, that's a few years the back, Democrats but a few years back, we could have, See that? we could have perhaps held out hope that a few Republicans were going to say, hey, you know, this guy really isn't that good. I'm not going to vote for him. But that's not going to happen. But However, maybe he is that good. Maybe he is that good, and all of this and stuff maybe, is specious. Maybe, Phil, Phil, and let me throw it right back at you. Maybe he's that bad. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. We'll find Re out. Yes, Renee. See, the issue is, is that Alex is saying maybe he's not that bad. Or, excuse me, you not know, good. we all, right, not that good. But it's only from our view that he's bad. From the Republicans' view, they think he's perfect. I think he walks on water, this guy. No, but I, 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 I think I, How is it? I think that there, well, there are a lot of things you could attribute to him, but I wouldn't give him that one. Uh, the, the fact of the matter All right, is, so he parted the Red Sea. The fact of the matter is that we're going to be stuck with him. So let's just hope and pray that he, he does right rather than wrong. Uh, and uh, I, I agree, you know, with his feeling that Roe v. Wade is precedent law, and you don't reverse precedent law. 
Okay, so let's get rid of that whole Roe v. Wade notion. But the thing is, what I'm saying here is in the old days, you would have found a couple of Republicans who might not be for this guy. You might find a couple of Democrats who are for him. You Alex, know, but this but, Roe v. Wade thing yeah. has been going on for 40 years. Uh, it's the same mantra. They're going to end Roe v. Wade, these Republicans. They're going to they're going to take away your Medicare. They're going to take away your Social Security. This is the same mantra that has been uh, uh, spoken. Well, and there's been plenty of Republicans in charge over the last well, 40 they can't years, take, and none of they, them have done that. They can't take away my Social Security because uh, no, no, but I'm this old is what they're Wait saying. a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. But so, they can. They can can impact my Medicare. They can do that. And if they Maybe do, they can, if but they so do, could a if Democrat. If they do that, I'm getting a gun and I'm going to start shooting. Right. But okay. a Democrat could do it too. But in the meantime, in the last 40, 50 years, nobody has done it. Yeah. And there's That's been it. plenty I'm of drinking. Republicans. Patrick, there's been pl- Patrick, what do you think? I don't think that... I mean, Renee already spoke for me, and, and that's pretty much what it comes down to. With I don't think Roe v. Wade going to be touched. I think it's a it's a um, it's a hot button that the left like to throw out. Just like the right love to throw out gun control and that these are just um, words that they fire up either side. Roe v. Wade, the left goes absolutely ape shit, and then you say uh, uh, banning guns, and the right goes absolutely ape shit. And frankly, the Second Amendment hadn't been touched, and neither had Roe v. Wade. And every, what I said. every okay. Democrat but, well, that had been nominated to the Supreme Court, like Kagan and uh, Sotomayor, one of the biggest concerns the Republicans had was, are they going to get rid of the Second Amendment? Are they going to change it? And it never happened. John Roberts is a good, uh, good example there's a guy that everybody assumed was far to the right, and he's pretty centered. Yeah, he was a swing vote. Yeah, well, he's not he's a swing vote. A swing vote, and you know, I, I don't know. I, I think <clears throat> both sides, they, they play team. You know, and I'm, I'm quoting Jack at this point because Jack believes in the team mentality, um, where. Yeah, I don't. For political, and I don't necessarily buy into that because, like for me, personally, what did I say on, on this damn show? As soon as Trump became the face of the Republican Party, I no longer can, called myself a Republican. I'm a conservative, but I won't, I won't align myself with the party. Now, there's things that he's done that I don't have a problem with, <laughs> The guy generally is not my cup of tea. Um, you know, it, so I, I think I think what you said, Alex, is probably the most rational way to look at this is we don't know. Age in the way he is as the years go, and it could be for the worst for the left or worse for the right. Like it's that's why I brought up John Roberts because he'd become almost a swing vote either way, and and there's the chief justice. Now, there was some and, there was some there was some decision recently that he went to the left on that I uh, and it was a major one. And I'm trying to remember which one it was. Uh, who and was the, that? And when oh. he was nominated, yeah. the Democrats were going ape shit over the Roe v. Wade thing again, and there he is. And like I said, well, look, Kagan look. and the Democrats. Hold on, pardon say. that drug lady. Uh, you know that. Oh uh, no, you're you're not going to say he pro- he because he pardoned one black woman out of no. All and then there was a there was a there was somebody else, some black guy that was uh, accused of something that he pardoned Ooh, posthumously out of our entire prison. Well, it, it's a but start. That's I mean, a you know, drop in the bucket. But here, 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 here's, here's what I'm what I'm trying Two to say is, uh, you know, I mean, yes, there might be a, uh, a a a problem with Roe v. Wade. We don't know, but I don't think so. Uh, but we don't know. Again, you know. <laughs> Hello, Bree. How are you? I was thinking about you today and wondered why we hadn't heard from you lately. How are well, you? I'm waiting for. 
I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you just fine. Bree is calling. Are you in Dubai right now? Yeah, I'm in Dubai. Yeah. Sounds like you're so, next door. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting for the when's daylight savings time going to kick in over there, and then it'll be more my... November my, 4th. Uh, daylight okay. savings time goes away. It doesn't kick in. Uh, yeah, okay. It changes yeah. November 4th. Standard time. Uh, so you'll hear me more then. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I see. Because you don't have a daylight savings time where you are, right? Right. Why would he? What is it it's, like? Seven in the morning there? It's just an American thing. Cut it out. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was just gonna say it's a load of horse shit. So, so it's seven yeah. in the morning yeah, there like now. Some, yeah. 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 What, were, so. what were you saying, Bree? Well, I, I need some uh, questions answered about this uh, Kavanaugh thing because, you know, I try to watch it as much as I can over here, but I don't get the the extra sauce, so to speak, that yeah. you would get in a bingo. <laughs> so here's, here's my first question. Yeah. Um, the, Kavanaugh had these calendars, and, and the, the prosecutor was zeroing in on July 1st. And as as she was doing that, he was grabbing those waters like he was you know pounding beers but um don't we know it says where he was going on that day so why didn't haven't any reporters where's the press on this you know they want the fbi to investigate but the reality is that the press does a better job ultimately like where you know so do we know where that place is didn't he have some major uh, physical activity that he was doing the next day, early in the morning, uh, that uh, football precluded practice him from hmm? football practice or something? Something like, like that. that. Well, but uh, and he and he at, uh, he said he attended, but uh, it sort of precluded <laughs> that he wouldn't be out all night at a party drinking no, beer. Absolutely not. When you're when you're seventeen. You can you can pretty much drink and do anything the next day, um, but you know the the thing is is I I I didn't get a chance to weigh in on that, but I, I just wonder where the press is on it. And I had heard so many different reports. One report was that uh, Doctor Ford had had helped another person to pass a polygraph. That was a story that I read, and I don't know. Anyway, all those stories. The thing is is that. Um, Kavanaugh did uh, come out as very partisan uh, in that uh, that one, you know, in, in that right, and uh, that's the one area where he lost me because uh, I was I was in favor of him prior to that, but when he said the Clintons and left wing pent up anger or something, you know why? You know why, why? he said that? Because why he was he, uh, he worked on this uh, Ken Starr. Clinton thing. Yeah, Ken Starr. Yeah, he was, right. that, there was a there was a great guy. That piece of shit. Oh right. Well, yeah. meanwhile, well, and, he believed it was retribution for that. Well, if it was, it was the shortest retribution anybody had to do because those uh, press, those uh, investigations towards the Clintons went on for years. I mean, they never really stopped. And this guy, they bring up something, you know, that lasted a week or two. And he was saying his life was ruined, he couldn't coach, and everything's bad. I was like, dude, no, you mean, you you still can do whatever you want. He, I think he was a little melodramatic about all of that. You know, I mean, he was up there, he was really going off. And it was like... this. this is, but Bree, this is a guy that led an exemplary uh, public life uh, for, uh, for at least 36 years. And, uh, and there was no mention of any... Uh, 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 wrongdoing on his part uh, uh, when he was in public life, and uh, so you know, being accused of this kind of thing uh, for somebody that you know lives that kind of life, I think meant a lot to him. Well, you're buying and, you're buying the story. I I don't know that well, he had that maybe exemplary the story life. True. Nobody ever proved he had an exemplary so, life. So, Phil, it was okay for him to say what comes around goes around, and w when I get seated, I'm going to make sure. That any way that I can possibly get back at you, I will. Yeah, he the did Supreme say Court that. was never supposed to be political, and now Wait it is. He did say that, didn't he? What goes yeah. around, what mm -hmm. uh, he goes did. around comes yeah, around. Yeah, well, maybe maybe he was referring to the fact that he worked on the Ken Starr thing, and now it's coming around no, to no, him. No, what he was saying is what's happening to me, no. what comes around... 
goes on. Well, that's, you know that's what he's saying. You put me. That yeah, makes him said, a vindictious and little man. He said the next decade I, uh, is going to be very dark. Let, let me or something put it this like way. And now, yeah, because of this kind okay, of hold question. Hold on, hold on. I want to go to Patrick uh, I next. Took, no, oh. I took it because he's going to do something. Yeah, I want to go to Patrick next, but I just want to say that I I just felt that where if I could have had any positive feeling about him it was his testimony that sunk it i mean i felt that that was very yes unjudge like very partisan yeah. uh it was all the things that i would not want out of a supreme court judge and quite frankly i think at that point a republican would have had no n nobody would have held them guilty if they said i just didn't you, like you guys wait, are wait, hypocrites. Wait, are you gonna and let I'm, me finish what i'm saying yeah. phil well it's your hypocrite what do you mean i'm a hypocrite how am i a hypocrite because he got upset, and uh, and and you're saying that because he got upset, no. he's no good. He if got, he didn't uh, get no, upset, no, you no, would have said because no, he didn't get no, upset, no, he's it, no It was the good. manner in which he got upset and couldn't control himself. Eh, bullshit. He had no that, self control. And that was my point. Yes. Uh, my, Patrick, my point Patrick, is Patrick, going to be... Oh. Patrick has his hand up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it ties into this, and it... it it's something that Bree said, Clark, it, um, when he brought up uh, Miss Ford, um, I have to say that her attorney has got to be the worst attorney in the United States of America because there are no statutes of limitation in Maryland where that took place. And if there is a case to be had, criminal why hasn't charges been filed her i'll tell you why filed. i'll tell you why yeah because you will tell me why it. phil and then i'll tell you why you're wrong go ahead okay because if they file charges they would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt they would also be responsible for a false accusation and uh that that attorney yeah but there's another reason why they're not going to because i don't think she <laughs> wants to go through it okay well, I think is there a the possibility she doesn't want to? Isn't there a possibility she doesn't want to go through it? She's through with it. She did what she did. Uh, there are two yeah. other claimants that might want to go. Through well, maybe with they it. will. Avenatti's, well, Avenatti's well, gal well, would be happy. Well, to sue, maybe they except it's not true, and she would wind up uh, with egg on her face, costing her millions of dollars. What's the stop them from it's, doing and, it now? Because if if she Three. if she said. Uh, that uh, Kavanaugh yeah. did these things, you know, Patrick's and it was proved had, Patrick's, wrong. Patrick's had his hand up for a yeah. long, long time. <laughs> he likes putting his hand in that position. Yeah, but you won't yeah, shut listen. up. Let him talk. <laughs> well, just just to follow up on on what you said, Alex. The the thing is, though, um, she put herself in front of the world in the Senate, which is a lot different than a courtroom, which would only be a couple hundred people at the most if you had people watching, and it wouldn't be nationally or internationally televised. So I don't buy that argument that maybe she doesn't want to go through it, because if she did have the fortitude and the gut to go before the Senate, why the hell wouldn't you go before? I'll give you. I'll give you. I, I, I mean, hold, hold on a second, uh, Phil. Shut up. Uh, you, true. You, you, no. Uh, the the reason why is uh, uh, if you've ever been through any kind of court case, they drag on for years. Yeah, this. It would wait, be a minute, wait, it. wait a minute. This happened. This happened. She said she was coming on a month on a Sunday or something, and by Thursday she was there, and by Friday she was back in the Bay Area, and it was all over with as far as she was concerned. And all she came to do was to attest to his character. That's all she came to do. She wasn't filing a charge. She wasn't doing anything else. She was attesting to his character. What about the other two? Now, the point is that if they I, file forget charges... Forget the other two. I don't give a shit about the other I, two. I understand. To begin with, it, Avenatti's doesn't, I believe, does not have a case against uh, uh, him. Beca uh, because uh, she was simply saying things she saw him do. Or she claims she saw him do. Yeah. But that's, what, uh, let's, let's take this another a different Brie, direction, if you don't also mind. Also, Bree, you're we, next. 
Yes. We're yeah. all professional people. Is that correct? If if somebody interviewed that poorly, would you really hire them? The guy no. did great. He had over a million pages of he information. He was angry. He was spinning and hissing. He was, he was not he, taking a break. He because. was not respectful. You you know. Uh, and and uh, and neither were the people that were grilling him. Will you, will you let yes. Bree finish, okay. Phil? Phil, Phil, will you, Phil, will you, you, Phil, will you Phil, let Bree finish? Phil, will you let Bree finish? Oh, jeez, almighty! Let Bree finish. To the extreme. The you Democrats know, uh, took it to the extreme. Phil, let Bree Well, they're, they're testing him, and you know, it, it, nine nine times out of ten in life, it's not what what you know happens to you. Things are going to happen. It's how you react to them. See, the test is and, about his knowledge and his ability to rule on constitutional cases, not whether or not uh, his uh, uh, he he drinks and, and, beer. And, and wait a minute, let's, and to do get, it, and to, to do it with a certain uh, amount of uh, of uh, self control. Which he doesn't apparently have. But uh, he's got the, more than me. <laughs> here's the reality. I want to put your ass on board either. See this. Yeah. I see this from afar. It just seems like all of the structures have broken down. The Supreme Court relies on the executive and the Senate in order to get its uh, have its clout. You know, it and if it does not have that, I, I don't see the system working in the future. If the Democrats take back Congress, and if they get the White House, they will essentially make the Supreme Court a lame duck institution. They could. Because look at... Uh, this is another thing. Explain to me this. Merrick Garland was held off. Is that because the Republicans had a majority and so that they could make yep. that rule? Yes. Yep. Okay, yeah. so, so as soon as the Democrats get in charge, can't they just start changing all the rules? We could, but the problem is, is we don't work that... with. We don't work... Well, don't say we. we oh, I'm, I'm you independent. kidding me. We, we don't work with me? the same vindictive viciousness Are you that kidding the Republicans me? do. Are you kidding me? Go no, for I'm not saying in the face. woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm saying no. can it be done because if it, oh, if it yeah, can, it be, can done, be done. Oh, yeah, it can be done. Yeah, but see, the, but, it, it, but the thing is, is right now it can be done for them now too, meaning that they can set this whole thing up. Right. And I wasn't saying the Second Amendment. I was saying the 22nd Amendment, which is there after the fact that there's no term limits left in the United States and that Trump could stay president as long as he wanted to, just like Putin did for himself. He removed no. him just like he did for the gentleman in China. What, what, what's the, uh, what's the uh, constitutional amendment that's only two terms? It's a 14th. It's a 22nd. 22nd. Isn't is the twenty second the one that if he's not competent they can take him out? Or is that the twenty fourth or twenty? No, it's the term limit is the twenty second. No, 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 no the, he, she's, he's talking about the one where where oh. a president can be relieved from office. Twenty five, for... right? And I think that should be twenty five. Yeah. All right. Well, the number isn't that important, but you know the the idea is that we've got these term limits in place. You'd have to have a yeah, constitutional it amendment. Your first amendment and your second amendment. Yeah, it is important. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So well, if you're in control of all of our major... Numbering systems. If you're in control of our entire government, the House, the Senate, the Supreme Court, the, uh, the, the, service, the Secret Service and all of that, how, how is that hard? That's not even a heavy lift, Phil. It's it's called you need a, a majority of the states to change a constitutional amendment. How many states is it that you need to 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 change to have a constitutional amendment? But aren't you guys shooting for an actual constitutional convention this next year in 2019? The Isn't only one that that's shooting for that is Jack. <laughs> I'm a Jack. So here. everyone loves the system. Everyone believes the system is still working and it's fine. No. Yeah, I that's believe what I'm it's saying. fine. I trust, believe in the Constitution. I, I believe that the trust in these institutions is crumbling. Oh, it's and, beyond crumbled. It's shattered. But that's because of Putin. This is what Putin wants uh, from us. I think it's beyond that. It's like the last 40 years, our faith in these institutions has deteriorated. Putin's just a popcorn fart in comparison to all the bullshit that's been going on for the last four decades, especially since Reagan. But... Uh, yeah. 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 Well, anyway, hey, there's the theme. Whew. Wow. Okay. Uh, Have a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> right. Are they going to take their vote tomorrow? So it won't be that good a weekend. Jeff, thank you so much for being with us. When are you going away, by the way, Jeff? I'm. I'm right now. Uh, going to go back. I'm. I'm right now. Uh, going back to Italy? in Atlanta. Oh, you're in Atlanta. Uh, oh, he was a, 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 a remote, as we used to call it in radio. That's right. Anyway, thanks, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Renee. Give me. Uh, send me your phone number. Okay. Uh, yes, Patrick, it's good seeing you again all the time. Bree, great to hear from you again. And as soon as the clock changes, yeah. we want you back a lot more. Uh, uh, yeah, you got it. Alan. And uh, uh, Phil, thank you very much. Uh, Kevin, love having you here. Brian, terrific as well. All of you, give a big wave goodbye to our audience so they can say goodnight to you. There we go. That's our citizen panel sheepishly waving goodbye and going off into the sunset. Uh, let me get rid of my uh, 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 Skype here so the next show can use it. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, next is The Intersection with Jack Bishop. That'll be followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections coming out of Florida uh, at Eastern Daylight Time. And then, uh, let's see here. We'll be back again on Tuesday right after the exchange at 9.30 with Damian Chaplin. We'll be here at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.